Hello everyone, this is Don, RogersRaiders.com. It is a secure site, if you are wonder. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is, as you see, the Guns of Glory's rallies for the leaders and mega leader roles. Okay, we're going to dispel a couple myths because there's an assumption that takes place. The word mega, oh my god, the fascination with this word is, is beyond relief. And... Very few people fascinated with it understand what it really is. It is not a bigger rally. All right. So it's, it's a better rally, and it should be labeled better rally uh, or uh, something other than mega because that word translates in multiple language as big. Okay. And it is not a bigger rally. So what we're going to talk about is... A skipped over technique and partially due to laziness and some of it has to do with if you understand how the game progresses what happens you get a new kingdom uh, about 50 guys rush to the front of the line they coin up there and they all got their two two to 240k marches set up and they got their tier nines and tier tens and so what they do is they jump into KVKs and KEs and UACs and whatever have you. And they lead with their full march every single stick in time. Now, it's bad math. All right. Uh, at the end of the day, so here in the article, I've broken it down for people who are more visual and want to go back over it step by step. To where we're talking about, and, and I'm using C30s as an example, and I'm oversimplifying a little bit, all right? And I'm trying to oversimplify in case you just don't care about the math, but at least you kind of understand the concept. All right, so it, it, it's important to understand the concept. A rally or a mega rally, doesn't matter which one you click, has, let's say has a million troop cap. That cap is based off the size of your Hall of War. Okay, the leader's Hall of War. When somebody enters a tower or the castle during KVK, how many troops can enter that castle is based off that guy's size of the Hall of War. And if... And we had this happen last KVK, the, our first KVK. A little C-10 that was from another kingdom ran in there and tried to to set the cap for what troops could get in there. Uh, forgetting that he's not in our alliance and we just killed him when we got there. But not the point. Uh, that type of treasonous little activity, it's annoying, but it, it doesn't slow things down. Uh, so we're talking about your average C-30, which is about a million troops, and... Uh, I think it's 1.1, something like that. Uh, and also it depends on your guards and other hoo-hahs. The, but if you have five players who bring 200,000 to your million troop cap, and then we're just using a magical round number, okay, of 100 damage, uh, the damage number matters okay it's one of the most important stats in the game if you haven't figured that out or watched any other video that we've ever put out uh, on stats or anything like that the damage is king uh, for every one point of damage it's 10 points so if I've got 20 points of damage on a bigger player but he has a hundred more stats than me on the stat sheet and you look down there and you see all these red lights and then you see that one green light that says damage and goes, holy crap, he killed his entire army. And I'm going to show you this in just a second. Actually, I'm not going to show you this in just a second because it's going to be on a video called Snipers. Uh, we're going to show you sniper techniques. Right now we're talking about rally techniques. Uh, so there's a million troops in Rally A, and we're going up against a tower. All right? And what I'm trying to show you is... so. This guy set a mega rally against this tower that properly built their tower up. Two guys in with 
uh, their max cap, you know, probably 200, 220K. And then we started throwing in 60K marches. 60K, 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 60K. And the reason being is I took your hunter damage and said, well, these guys aren't even that strong in their mega rally. Uh, and you'll hear guys talk about this <clears throat> live while the event's like, well, he's got nothing. They only got T8s or T9s in there. Uh, we'll just send our T10s and that'll be the end of them. And then you lose. Okay. It was your rally formation. It was the fact that you allowed crap marches into your rallies that you lost. It was the fact that you stacked all your troops into five guys is why you lost. And you've witnessed this, but haven't noticed this. Uh, as you were doing Underworld events, every king, every alliance has to do caps. And if you look at our Spinebreaker, I've got caps built in there for you on how to set up marches. So when you get to your 20k caps, you're a properly built uh, uh, character. We'll be doing 60 to 70k damage with a 20, with a 20,000 troop cap on the Underworld events. All right, we accelerate that up to where you're doing full marches in the uh, the insane level up at the top. All right, so you're doing full marches. You're bringing 220,000 troops. You're bringing 10 times as many troops. And I can tell you that a good damage number up there is somewhere around 330k. That's a good solid damage number. It's actually hard to move from 300k to 330k. Uh, you know without putting some serious stats on there. And even the serious stat guys do not do more damage. All right. The reason being is the game is designed to prevent big, big players from becoming the asshole of all Bane out there that, that makes people run off. If you know how to defend yourself, if you know why the C-35, C-36 beating on your C-18 castle every day isn't even going to slow your growth down, then all it is is an annoyance and just keep quiet, keep pointing it out, and everybody will hate the guy for doing it. All right? It becomes, he becomes his own worst enemy for being that guy. Uh, if you engage him verbally, you know, they, they say don't argue with a fool. It's kind of hard to tell the difference that kind of takes effect so don't even engage him verbally anymore just turn around and put him on your block list and let him do what he's going to do for two three four weeks either a he'll get bored or seek psychiatric help one of the two uh so but as i was i drifted there so the point here is there's damage that carries from player to player all right when one rally goes up against another, okay, wh whether it's in a tower or a rally versus rally or in a castle or whatever, then it's uh, when a rally hits a single castle, it's completely different math than a rally hitting tower. Okay, so it becomes a player versus player. They're sorted by power. So you want two full marches in there. And the reason is, is we want... A, the Mega, which is going to be our best stats, of course. And then somebody else bringing us the 200,000. That way, that player can absorb a lot of damage. Now, when you choose that player, know they're going to take bigger losses than everybody else in the rally that's going to bring the 60K marches underneath them. That player needs to know that position is one that's going to need their hospitals built up. They need to have been that coiner that got there early has built up their hospitals, has subscription on. Okay, subscription is 10% battlefield treatment, folks. If these top two players aren't running their subscription, it's foolish. Don't try to be this hero. And I heard the complaints when I put people on 60K marches. It's like, oh, I feel so weak bringing 60Ks. Doesn't matter if you're bringing 60K or 200K. At the end of the day, we've got 1 million troops. All right. But more importantly, you didn't send me garbage because you didn't have enough distance troops. See, when I do it this way, I got nine players, and my T8 distance is maxed out to a proper mix all the way across the rally. Because they didn't have to bring 
45,000, which is the number for a good 200K march, distance in their top tier. That's a very hard number for somebody to build up. You have to coin to do it. All right. I realize that when you look at my spine, spine breaker and you go, my gosh, I don't have the troops for that. And I'm talking about big coiners telling me that. I get it. You don't got the troops for it. It doesn't make the math wrong. Uh, but once guys get the mix built up, they also PM me back and go, holy crap, I'm murdering everybody. This is our goal. So now we're going to apply the spine breaker to uh, lower tiers. All right. We need that million troops. So let's say my C-22s through C-26s. Uh, and if, you, if you're a C-26 and you don't have enough T-9s to do this right. Okay. So all we're bringing is 13,000. And... What I mean by bring it right, go to the second column over here where I say, KVK, you need three marches. Okay, so if you don't have 40,000 of your top tier, you're not ready for KVK yet. And that's in a 60K cap march. All right, so this is where you need to be right here to be ready. This is what ready means. All right. And the, I saw it the other day, guys brought in their wolf marches because they went and got a great big number on the wolf right before. And they said, oh, look at all the damage I'm doing. Do not bring your wolf march to a PVP fight. You're a dead man. And you've wasted a tear in our rally. When you are an instantaneous dead man, the next guy gets your damage carryover. You just killed the guy below you. And maybe another couple as well. All right. The damage carries over. And I'll go back to that in just a second. But this is prepared so that when a portion of this dies, it fits in your hospital. You start the heal. You can use speed ups to get them out. It isn't but a few of them. And it doesn't take gobs and gobs of food and wood and iron to get them out of the hospital. And you can. And three marches here equals probably about five to six times that you can be in a complete death blow. But you're going to have fewer dead. All right. That's the point of the spine breaker. It's to minimize how much death actually occurs because you broke their spine. All right. And guys, as I, when I put the sniper video up, it's very important to pay attention to the sniper video because these are three very important guys in a KVK because we're going to show you how to take three people and bust a 700, 800K mega rally right out of a tower with three guys. All right. And it's a rapid fire technique. It's, you know, if you're spending mega rallies to break your towers, guys, you're, you're, and your mega rallies don't look like this. Odds are you've lost and you're giving them 15, 20 minutes to reinforce the tower. Uh, the coiners are going to win. The stats are going to win. That's what we call a stats versus stats challenge. So the guy with the bigger stats wins. And you know what? And I will show you this right now. So I'm going to go to my war. The last one, I start him up in here. Okay. This would be... Me doing sniper duty. I didn't have the stats for it. All right. Uh, but I couldn't get the guys who had the stats to trust that they could do the job. All right. They didn't understand it. We're going to have to put it on film. So here's this woman here. She had superior stats to me in almost every single way. She's a mega rally leader. There's 800,000 troops in this thing. And I only and I, I only killed seventy thousand, but I want to show you what seventy thousand I killed. What I did was I adjusted my march to be distance heavy. And I went in here, and I think that's me. That's me. Is this her? This is her. Infantry. Boom. She didn't have much left. 
I wiped them out. All right. This person had only sent 8,000 cavalry. Okay, here's here's our Renee. Her tier 9s, all our infantry, gone. Gone. These were crap marches we were fighting against. By rolling a distance heavy march, even solo in there, I focused all my damage that I had on my single account at their infantry. And then I followed it up. Okay. Five minutes later, 805, 810, I hit her with cavalry heavy. Oh, look at that. I may have lost my march again because I'm still up against, you know, uh, 600,000 troops. Me versus 600,000 troops. Yeah, but that second hit, now notice none of our stats are different. She's still the mega leader. She's still, you know, and I'm, I'm out running her on damage, but she's still the leader, and our stats aren't different. Okay? But I did a humongous kill. All right. So now that I rolled my cavalry in there, guess what I did? I just killed her distance. Okay. Uh, and we'll go and show you that. Now we're doing the same thing with these rallies. There's a reason we're rolling these formations in the rallies. Uh... So that when you do do a mega, you didn't risk an entire alliance losing every troop they got. Uh, okay, so she had reinforced. Oh, wait a minute, that's me. I didn't have reinforced nothing, I just sent more. Uh, cavalry. Boom. I wiped her cavalry out. Cavalry. Wiped her cavalry out. I mean, those are clique. Nothing survived on that. Cavalry. Cavalry. All right. And I was in there cavalry heavy. Frankly, I should have been killing. So, first I took out the infantry leg. Then I took out the cavalry leg. All right. That means that the third person, the second person this time, I did two marches. There should have been three. One should have been rolling distance heavy. The other one should have been rolling cavalry heavy. The third should have brought their normal infantry march in there. And boom, that would have been the end of it. Not even a challenge for, for the third person. Uh, so you have three snipers. You roll. And by heavy, I don't mean roll the slider over to ridiculous, guys. I really don't. Uh, two, two, two. We're going to click one here. Okay. Uh, this ain't even close to set up right. Two, 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 two. Tell you what, we'll burn a little. I'm not in my war spec. I should have. I forgot. Uh, so what I'll do here is I'll just throw a march cap on there. Uh, okay. So that got me up to the 191 area. So that that'd be about where my base march is. So when I say distance heavy, I'm gonna knock down. A little bit. That's a distance heavy march. That was it. I moved 5, 6K around. Don't go crazy. You go into the lopsided and your losses are going to be extreme. Okay. So when I say I rolled cavalry heavy. There we go. That's a cav heavy march. That's all I did. And you saw the results. I went from breaking breaking off the infantry leg to where I had a clear, easy hole for my cavalry to get in there. Then I brought my cavalry in there, took 200,000 of them out. There, that is now, and so I brought their, their 600,000 down to 400,000, a manageable single person number. Okay. Or I could have been in a mega rally with 220,000 troops that lost again and again and again and again and again and again. Losing 200,000 troops at a time. Which, what was happening, it's why I broke out of my tower and went and at least put some stats on the board to show how you do it by yourself. 
And guys, I'm not rolling some crazy airship here. I'm not rolling some crazy stats. I'm still in Demon Hunter. Okay? Uh, this this is not difficult. Uh, I don't even think I got my gems all up. I still got fives on my gems. There's nothing. So if, if I'd have been one of these guys with 1,300 and 1,400 stats and we had those kind of guys, but they were scared to do it, they've gotten so much money invested in it. They're so in love with their account. But they're scared to use it. They and, and you know, I'll liken it to a lawyer who buys a Ferrari. It, it's it's great. Just don't ever take it out of second gear. It scares crap out of you. All right. The uh, it, it's for showing people. It's not for not for actually using. So let's get back to. We're gonna build a rally here, and I got guys standing by to help us do this on film. So we're gonna get out of here. And let's find somebody. Rally. I don't know how long I'm going to talk, so let's. And I'm going to set my formation like my formation should be set. All right. Now, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start watching people. So, we want two big players, or 200K guys. Now, remember, I'm doing this at C30s, and I'm telling you that 60,000s are our uh, numbers that we're using. Let's say you have a C35 or a C40 who's got a much bigger Hall of War. Scale it up. Bring the spine breaker in. Change this number to 75,000. File. Save as more options. And down here, select a PDF. All right. Do that so the guys with nothing but a phone, they've never bought an app, they have no clue what they're doing. You can share the PDF. They can Everybody can open a PDF on their phone. All right. Just save it as a PDF for them. Share the PDF. Matter of fact, I'll put a 75K March in there. Uh, just make sure they have their minimums. So why are you paying attention to these minimums? Okay. Because you don't want to hurt your alliance. These guys that are bringing 60K, there's going to be just as much T8 times 10 people as there is times 4 people. The, the difference is if it is a complete and utter wipe. Every one of these guys, if I click Mega Rally, gets my stats. I don't care how big or how little they are. They all brought a proper mix. They can afford this mix. They can build this mix. It'll fit in their hospitals. That means C-22s can participate in KVK. Quit being such a snob about it. The uh, If your kingdom has nothing but... Uh, guys that can fill up with with their C35s. Congratulations! You don't you're not even watching this video. This is about the guys who are trying to learn how to run a KVK properly, how to teach their alliance how to fill a rally properly. Now, look at all these slots I got. We did our research. Okay, so right now I've got one, two, three, four. Five. All right. So I got 250k plus. But I got a half a million in it. It says troops are 300,000 of my 877. So I can bring 877,000 plus me. All right. So really, I've got 500,000 in this rally. So I'm going to bring a million troops to the party. All right, so there's a 500,000 rally, and quite frankly, it's sometimes hard to get 500,000 in these rallies. You guys have played these KVKs, have done it a couple of times, and you can't get five, 600,000 guys in a rally. This is how you get more participation. The, uh, But here's the dirty little secret. You can have these people that want to join, but if you have not gone through 
oops, wrong place, and done your research. Research for KVKs, guys. Momentums. Everybody thinks massive rally capacity. Eh. They take a long time. And it's not enough to tell the difference. It's something that nice to have, but it's icing on the cake. Build the cake first. Okay. Uh, now, you see, we are just now doing our attacks. That's because... 1% of my distance attack? Phew, who cares? Stats are cheap these days. We skipped all of that. All right. And you got to go for the bigger stuff that takes a longer time to get. Uh, Alliance membership, of course. Got to be able to put that. Distance versus infantry damage. We did all our damage stats. And then we maxed out our rally slots. Okay, and there's like five of these scattered out. Make sure you go down in the uh, levels and do the easy ones first. A rally slot's a rally slot. You don't need to do the level 10 one first. Uh, do the level 4 page first. It it's, takes a day, uh, whereas the level 10 can take two or three days with everybody donating their butts off. Uh, so start at the bottom, work your way up. Just know what you're working for. And you're working for damage. And you're working for rally slots. That way we can spread out how much of this stuff that we're doing. Okay, so let's go look at my rally. And I'm still six members. So, just bad time of day, I guess. I had more people wanting to join a minute ago. So now, as a rally leader, let's look. That's not right. Okay. Okay. And I knew he wasn't going to be right, guys. He, he, he was my example. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to go back in here. All right. 13,000 should be his tier 8 distance. Now, he tried to fill in more with his 7s. So can't just look at the 60 cows as a number. He doesn't have a proper march. Which means if he doesn't have one proper march... He doesn't have two and three proper marches. Which means you let this guy kill himself. He's not farming next week. He's not ready in KVK in two weeks. Be the nice guy. Do, 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 do. And send him back. All right. Don't let this guy kill himself. So here I am, 240,000. I don't have enough to fill my march. KVK in and over. Guys, if your participation has died, stop. Back out of the towers. Stop killing your troops. Send your... I got another video that's that's loaded up. It's called Sa uh, the Holy Water Savings Account. Uh, it should be the video that's loaded before this one. Go to that one. Understand that your job at this point is to prepare for next KVK. We don't have enough participation. We're not going to break that tower with 240,000 troops. I don't care what's going on. It's just not going to happen. Uh, if I can't get, if people are scared, they're not there, they're not paying attention, they, they're, they're logging in and sending stuff, which the 60K helps with that. If all they got to do is risk 60K, they don't feel like they're risking that much. They log in, they join rallies, they don't even know what they're doing. The rally leader needs to know what we're doing. We need to know who we're saving. And why? And I would recommend that when you start setting up for your KVK, whichever alliance you join, usually the one that's got the best research, the that you join on Wednesday with your rally leaders, your mega leaders, and your snipers. Okay? And you guys get prepared to run these practice rallies. What I just ran was a practice rally. Okay? We failed. Okay? We didn't have to hit anybody. So if we fail a practice rally, how's it going to work in real life? When the troop loss is real. So if you're one of these big coiner accounts, there's no sense trying to beat your head against the wall and prove that you spent some money. Because no matter how much money you spent, the math is the math. 
If you want to be one of these superheroes, the sniper position is your position. If you've got 1,200 plus stats, somewhere around there, and you've built 1.5, 1.6 million troops, and you can run full marches, and you understand how and why you're making adjustments on the fly to your rally. Okay? I'm going to go. That's my first rally. Doesn't have to be exact. I'm just going to roll heavy on distance. The, uh, that's all I'm going to do. The uh, Boom. I'm going to send that rally. And I know that rally is going to take heavy losses. But I also know one other thing. That rally is going to kill their infantry. Well, here comes March 2 right after it. And it may be seconds. If you bought the airship pack, man, you want your snipers having an airship pack. That's key. Because then can, he can send that first distance and then send that cavalry one 10 to 15 seconds later. And it doesn't matter. if it, Even if he's sending it from safety from 15 minutes out, he knows they're going to land five seconds out. At that point, somebody else needs to... But what you really want to have happen is your, your three snipers work in coordination. They're next to each other somewhere. They've either jumped into the forest right next to a tower. And they, uh, they send their marches. One guy's already got his formation set up for distance. The other guy set his formation set up for cavalry. The other guy's set up for a slightly infantry heavy one. Or a normal spinebreaker march the uh you're in that tower i guarantee you you're eating chunks out of those guys uh you may not want to keep that tower but if you just cause them to put six hundred thousand and they're rolling five heavy guys you just took their coiners out of the game i'm showing you a technique on how to keep your coiners in the game while taking their coiners out out of the game and eventually everybody's gonna see this video so if you're one of the first to see it this is a huge strategic advantage all right all it is is simple math they gave you 15 rally slots for a reason you can't even use them on a regular a red guard thing you can only send seven there no matter how many rally slots you research this is a player versus player deal it's a very hard research to do uh, if you guys built a KVK alliance in your kingdom, yeah, you're not doing this any time in under three months. Sorry. it it Unless you got somebody who's got the stupidest amount of money ever and all the time in the world to just kick, click over and over and over and over and over and over and over on research, he might pull it off in less than three weeks. And he's going to spend about three weeks doing nothing but spending gold. All right. So, but that guy's own personal freaking alliance probably has that done already and so there's no need to do it see it's six of one half a dozen and the other uh kingdom 362 is not a heavy coiner kingdom we got one major coiner that's it and i wouldn't even call him a major coiner we got one guy who spent more than everybody else uh everybody else is the 40 50 a week guys uh and so we've got to use our heads and not our wallets and part of using our heads is to make sure that guys can recover. Uh, so when our snipers join, uh, they know they're going to be snipers. They've been saving up their speed ups. When they join our uh, alliance for KVK Day, they join on Wednesday. We start feeding them food, iron, and silver. And they start building up troops. Okay. Uh, that's their job. That they're going to lose troops. We know it. Uh, and we'll gladly give you two, three hundred million in food and iron. And I, I probably gave out 20 million in iron and 10 million in silver myself this last KVK just for somebody else to build troops. Uh, because that guy is going to keep me alive. All right. Uh, and I want to win. So I like winning. I hope you guys do too. So I think. I will have this video embedded into the article. I had to build the article a little bit first, and I'll clean up the article a little bit. I kind of threw things together. I'll put a couple of the PDFs. I'll put a 60K and a 75K in there. I would say if your 
uh, big castle leading the rallies or holding the tower is uh, C35, that's when you switch over to 75K. All right. Uh, don't leave your C22s on the side. The uh, the uh, as you can tell, I, I stage people doing things wrong. All right, uh, we would never let them do it in real life. Uh, the so, guys. Think about the other person. This is the big thing that where it's, and I hate to pick on you millennials, but my God, you're really quick to spend somebody else's money. Uh, it, it is just burned in your brains. Mom and dad's money. Uh, you know, you're called a child to the age of 26 in the United States by the federal government. Uh, and somebody else is supposed to pay for everything you ever do in your life. Uh, it's no different when you're killing somebody else's troops. They spent their time, and time is money. The They spent their time and effort building those things, and you're saying, oh, look, that guy's got big stats. Go beat ahead, and I'll hang out in the back and, and get my loot. All right. Uh, if you don't have enough to participate at the upper levels, then do everything you can at the lower levels. And that 60K is not really a lower level. It spreads the damage out so that hospitals don't get overwhelmed sanctuaries don't get overwhelmed right you guys can send your artillery to their death and build up your holy water bank I'll show a little bit of that on this video see we do not take our artillery out all right we leave our artillery in there and we rescue everything else and i'm going to leave my artillery in there Till next KVK. I'm going to have 100K artillery in there at all times. Uh, build me a puddle of holy water, a holy water savings account, so that right after KVK, I get all my troops back. The uh, and I'm and when the kingdom's vultures come out to prey on everybody that has lost their troops, because they saw me drop 20, 30, 40, and I dropped 60 million in power. This this KVK. Uh, so I'm nowhere near back to where I was. Uh, I'm 20 million away from having a second march. Uh, it takes two to three weeks to recover. Uh, this was our first KVK, so I just now, no one would attack me with enough volume to, for me to put my artillery in there. I needed a KVK to get my artillery in here building my savings account. The, uh, so I got some coming back out of there. There's quite a, you know, there's 200,000 troops still in there. Uh, but I will use a couple KVKs to get my artillery savings account going. Uh, for those of us in the older kingdom, they now know my dirty little secret why I got my marches back so fast. All right. So, the, <laughs> uh, if there's a system guy, I'm going to play it. That's the system. I didn't make the rules. I'm not cheating anything. That's what the rules of this are. It's not a hack. It's not a cheat. It's the rules the game set up. I'm playing by the rules. Okay. So, rally, le rally leaders, pay attention. Your goal as a leader is to not hurt the people in your kingdom. Know when you don't have enough. Okay. If you can't get 12, 13 guys... Now, see, I should have had one more 200K guy in there. And so that would have put me about 900,000. Okay. But if you can't get your million troops with two bigs and the rest in the in the little little march category, call your KVK. All right. Or put it on pause. You know, if you don't have enough activity right at that moment, Say, hey, we're going to pause for an hour. I think we got this. Uh, but everybody stop risking your troops. Just go ahead and back out of the, day, back out of the towers. Uh, and our snipers are going to go over and break the timers in the other kingdom. Okay? You go break the timers in the other kingdom. Because I'm going to show you with the sniper video how three, four, five guys. You can take a mega rally over to the other kingdom. Hit them with a mega. Back it up with your three snipers. Boom. You broke their castle. 
and almost every time. I don't care if they're a C40 or not. It works. Uh, the only difference between going after C35s and C40s is the amount of damage you take. You can break their legs off just as fast as anybody else's. If he is such a heavy corner that he is replacing all his troops instantly, it does not mean... Well, watch those guys. If he's coining other people's troops in as well, he's a really heavy coiner. Uh, because the Mega Leader can use their gold to bring other people in as well. Uh, to be a true coiner in those situations... You're coining everybody's marches, and that's an expensive day. You're talking about spending two, three hundred thousand gold per reinforcement. You can bleed a guy dry pretty quick. Uh, so there's understanding. I want you to start thinking about that time, time, time. Time is can be our friend. It can be our enemy. Uh, the uh, we don't give them time to heal. We give ourselves time to heal. So our 60K is going to the hospital. They got time to heal. They got more marches. They're just as strong on the next march as they are were on the first march. They're not waiting for... Because uh, what happens with the 208,000 marches, guys? And this is important so that the rally leaders understand that. Is a guy may bring 200,000 troops the next time. But it's probably not the right mix. If you're running the Spinebreaker... And you don't have 140,000 of your top tier distance. You can't play the spine breaker uh, for three marches. You just can't do it. And recovering T9s from your hospital is expensive. It is 20, 30 million food, another 7, 8 million in wood, uh, iron and silver, and speed ups. Just to get them back out of the hospital. All right, so if you're thinking you're going to get them out of the hospital, you're wrong. Uh, you need at least three marches that you can sacrifice, and they need to be proper mix. So when we run all heavy marches, by the second mega rally, it's garbage. All right, so our goal here is that we will, when you're fighting Kingdom 362, you will never, ever see a garbage march come at you, ever. You are going to take maximum amount of damage. I'm going to hurt you every single time that we hit you. All right, guys. So rally leaders, they need to do their job. They need to make the cold decision and say, you know what? You're just not strong enough right now. I'm going to put you on the sidelines. Uh, you know, get ready for next KVK. It's nothing personal. We're actually trying to help you if we kick you out of those rallies. Uh, me killing your troops for no good reason kills the guy below him. We'll go back to that real quick. See where we go down here. And say that damage carries over even if we had a weaker march. Let's say the first guy, remember up here, they're doing 100 damage on each of their players. But we can only take 80 damage. We got weak guys. So what happens is, is the next guy that can only take 80 damage, he actually takes 120. He takes 20 from the first guy's damage and it carries over to the next guy. All right. And then it carries over to the third guy. And you've seen this when it's a stats versus stats challenge, right? Big stats guys, big rallies, you only got 5 each, 5 each. Well, guess what? Come player 5 versus 5, the number 5 guy is taking 240 damage cuz they got weaker stats. No wonder it was a bloodbath. All right? You've all seen those bloodbath numbers where you killed your entire rally coming after them, or they killed your entire tower. Here, this was a defensive example. But see, with my rallies, well, player six takes 160. He's dead, too. And it, it, they don't kill all the players in each rally. It doesn't it didn't work that way. Uh, but by the time we get down to player seven, he's only taken 80. And then players eight through 12... There's not enough damage left in the way we've been doing things to actually get down to this player. Yeah, if that was a C40 running the Mega, there might be. But if you only got one C40 running rallies against you, run. Back everybody out of that tower. Let him have it. While he's in that tower, go 
go take everybody just left there, send them out another tower. The uh, have rally call recalls. That's where rally recalls are for. I would guarantee you, everybody watching this video has never used a rally recall. Because if you've got one heavy C forwarder that, that's coining, where he coins his march all the way out of the, the mega he just did, and coins his way back into another tower that you're heading towards, so that he can set the mega on it again, rally recall. The uh, Let him have a third point, so that he has to do that times three points all day long. He'll get bored or broke. Because every time you make a decision, and at that point, quit setting megas. The, uh, the, uh, the funny thing is, you almost don't need the megas with my marches. It helps. And you can set it at the last minute. You can set it at the last possible point. But see if they just react to rallies. See if they're paying attention. The, uh, so there's lots of strategies there, but the point here is not to kill your guys. All right. This puts you in the fight with maximum damage six, seven times. What we've been doing up here, the heads on heads on challenge, whoever coined the most stats, whoever you, you're really talking about three at most and when those guys run out they're out they're, they're, they're in their sanctuaries or in their hospital and if they're flooded up they're not going to risk anymore the uh, we were right at that point to where they didn't have the ability to hold a third point but we weren't doing our job correctly I hadn't done this video yet they didn't understand what I was explaining. We had language barrier problems. Uh, that's why we're going to practice rallies. We bring our leaders in on Wednesday. They understand what it is they're going to be looking for. We do the training with them. We bring in our other guys on Thursday. And we spend Friday doing our let's buy some packs. Let's buy, you know, everybody teleports. Let's buy everybody, you know, we, we do our coin spending on Friday when the timers cool down. Uh, we run some nightshades, upgrade some airships, uh, we run a million bounties, you know, everybody cooperates, all right? So, you're prepared for that kind of cooperation to take place. Uh, more importantly, we do like dozens and dozens of test hits and we fix people's airships and their stats and everything we can, the best we can. The, uh, the, uh, and as I say here, if this 1 million mega went after all these littles that were set up properly, your 1 million mega has failed. You just zeroed a million of your troops. Even though your scout report says you had better troops. I brought tier 9s. They only got tier 8s. Doesn't work that way. The reason I did the 100 and the 80 is there's a 20% difference between tier 9s and tier 8s. That's what it comes down to. That's why I was 20% difference. Uh, so my example is a tier 9 versus tier 8 example. And you will lose against a, tier, a tower full of tier 8s if they are using this method. So uh, there's lots of stuff going in here. Please like. Please subscribe. I appreciate everything you guys do. I, I, I love the notes you guys send me. And I kind of want to start asking, please stop PMing me in game. Uh, the, uh, to say thank you. I do know you guys appreciate it. I do know you guys use it. I, I get to thank you when I see the stats that the Spinebreaker is now my most downloaded file on the website. It is also approaching my most watched video. Uh, and those stats are skewed. It's been watched the almost 900 times. Uh, but it's been downloaded almost 84,000 times. So, uh, that's just, the, the video is just the starting point for the advertising, you know, that, to get you in there. If you, if you can't look at it on your phone, ask somebody with a computer to download the Excel spreadsheet and save you 
a PDF. I just demonstrated that in this video. Save you a PDF. Uh, you know, then you got it in your pocket. Ag, do it at work. Make a printout. They do print on paper, fit to paper size. Have a piece in your pocket if you need it. Uh, the don't get fired playing a video game, guys. All right, this is Don. Su subscribe. Thumbs up me this time, guys. This is good info. Uh, the uh, This is not info that's been put out there before because everybody's worried about getting advertising dollars, uh, which is volumes of people, usually new players looking for new stuff. Very rarely will somebody do an advanced video like this because I don't get any money from any of this. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much.